Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be doing a two-year review on my 2019 Chevy Silverado. Like I said, it's a 2019 Chevy Silverado, all-star edition V8, 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 engine, dynamic fuel management, and an eight-speed automatic transmission. I've owned this vehicle for two years, one week. And now here is my two-year review. Before I get started with the two-year review, I'll give you a little heads up of what I paid for the vehicle. Cash price was $40,105. They took off $6,115 for the All-Star Edition uh, uh, rebate allowance. So it brought it down to $33,981. At the time of the purchase, I had purchased the $1,000 step bars. So of course that brought it to uh, just under $35,000. And I'll give you these other numbers right here. I had no choice, but I had to pay $14.95 for the Skyforce technology. And then of course the $1,000 for the step bars. And sales tax was $3,900. DMV charges were $644. And miscellaneous charges was $115. I did the math, I still came up $1,000 short. But anyway, on this review, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you from the front all the way to the back but I'm not gonna do the passenger side because it's identical to uh, the driver's side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that came on the vehicle and everything that I had installed myself. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start from the front and work my way to the back and then we'll go inside. And then I'll show you a few things on the bottom that uh, I also had installed. So now on to the official two year review. Now for the front end. This is the EGR Bug and Stone Guard. I ordered it from Riverside Chevrolet. I did do an installation video on it. I did call it the Lund Bug Guard. It's actually called the EGR Bug Guard. $115. From WeatherTech, I got um, headlamp and uh, driving light protectors. I think they're about $135. Red recovery hooks from Riverside Chevrolet. I installed them myself and I did show an installation video for that. $135. Fog lamp kit from Riverside Chevrolet, 245. They did install it for me because I wasn't gonna attempt that. And that's it for the front end. EGR side window wind deflectors, all four, $115 from Riverside Chevrolet. I did do an installation video on that. Back here I have the Putco bed rails, 285 from Riverside Chevrolet and they did install it for me. Down here I have the wheel to wheel Flat black six inch step bars, $1,000 at the time of the purchase when I bought the truck. Riverside Chevrolet did do the installation for me. And I had recently purchased front and rear mud guards. The ones that were on here in the front were small. There wasn't one on the back. It was just a stone guard on the, on the bottom. These were 130 and I did let Riverside Chevrolet install them for me. Well, I paid them too. I was still recovering from COVID and I just didn't have the energy to do it. I did do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Metasassi and the GM version. Uh, the Metasassi were similar to the WeatherTech. Um, I actually prefer the GM ones better, better than the WeatherTech and the Metasassi uh, splash guards. The All-Star Edition also comes with the chrome mirror caps. With the All-Star Edition, you also get these color match door handles. The one thing I got wrong on the first video I made of my truck, I thought this would be the fuel port if you had a shorter bed. It's not, your fuel port would still be here. And this would be for that DEF liquid that you would pour in for your diesel fuel. So if you have a diesel tank, this is where the DEF fluid would go into. I didn't do too much to the back of the truck. I did add this WeatherTech 24 inch bump step. You can step up on it to get in the back of the truck or if you get too close to a brick wall, you can bump into it. That's why they call it a step bump. What I like about this tailgate is it's ultra light and it has a push button release. So your tailgate is always locked unless you, uh, if you have the key by you or in your pocket or in the truck, you can go ahead and push this button and it lowers it down. Now the all-star editions come with the drop-in bed liner. And my favorite feature of the back of this tailgate is you have a cup holder, which comes in handy for my beer. And now, onto the engine compartment. 
Now to show you what's in the engine bay. Here we have my V8 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 engine with dynamic fuel management and my GM Performance cold air intake system, $485 and I did do an installation video on that. Back there is the JLT 3.0 black oil separator, $150 and I also did an installation video on that. Up front we have the still in cold air intake scoop, $241 and I also did an installation video on that. So that covers everything that I did for the engine bay. With the all-star package, you also get a set of these rear wheel well liners. The front one comes standard with the set that's already in there. This is part of the bed protection package. And I gotta show you something else inside the back of the bed. With the all-star package, you also get these LED cargo bed lights in each of the rear corners. Here is my quick drain release valve. I purchased it from Fomoto.com, $43. I did pay for this one. I received the one for the motorcycle for free to do a YouTube video on. Magnaflow muffler, 150 bucks. This muffler is the exact same length as the stock muffler. It is a little bit louder, not much, but I wanted this one because it has a straight through airflow design. The stock muffler is uh, all chopped up inside. And it does give it a nice little sound. I had all my windows tinted from Sundown Window Tinting in Riverside. They did a light tint on the windshield with a limo visor. And they did a medium tint on the two front side windows and a light on the two rear and on the back. The cost of that was about 500 bucks for all six windows. I bought their best window tint and it really does make a big difference. There are two things I hate about this vehicle. The first was the auto start stop technology. The second was that my infotainment three system was not XM ready. Now to get rid of that uh, auto start stop technology, I had bought a bypass cable from autostopeliminator.com. So what that cable does is it retains the memory of the last setting of the switch. So if you leave the switch off, the system stays off. If you leave it on, it works as normal. I leave it off all the time because I don't think the wear and tear on the starter, the alternator and the battery is worth the few cents a month in savings that you're probably going to get from using that auto start stop feature. So if you only drive your car twice in one day, that's starting and stopping it four times. And if you end up doing like a 50 mile trip, have a lot of lights, you could end up starting and stopping your vehicle 25, 50 times a day. That is just ridiculous. But now with the XM ready, I did buy a Vegas control module and an XM tuner. I did do an installation video on that. So now I have an XM radio, now I have XM radio in my vehicle and I'm not using it through a cell phone app. I tried that app, it doesn't work. Your XM app on your phone is only gonna work if you have reception. In a lot of places I go, I don't have reception, but I do have reception from the satellites that, that send the signal from the satellites to the antenna that you mount to the top of the roof. And my Husky gearbox. Under seat storage, $158. Now and I have plenty of storage. With the All-Star Edition, you get upgraded door panels for the passenger and the driver. You get softer materials here and on here with this fake stitching and this wood inlay piece. These pieces are still hard plastic, which I like. I have heat shields for all six windows. They are from the heatshieldstore.com. I think the front sides are 45, the rear 45, the rear window is 45, and the front window was 45, so I guess they were all $45. Don't quote me on that. They are the original Heather's heat shields, and I highly recommend those heat shields if you wanna keep the interior of your car cooler and protect the, all the plastics and electronic components inside. Custom floor liners, I ordered them from Riverside Chevrolet. $200 for the front and the rear. Custom made neoprene seat covers from carcovercraft.com, $260. With the All-Star Edition, you get the upgraded Infotainment 3 system with the eight inch diagonal screen, upgraded climate control, heated front seats for the driver and the passenger. And here's that auto stop switch that I hate. Mine is always set to off. 
tailgate release, hazard, traction control, and express windows down on all four. With the All-Star Edition, you get a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. These two buttons here for your cell phone. These are for the driver information center, which is located in the center of the cluster. These buttons here are for your cruise control. This is for the heated steering wheel. Over here, you have your exterior illumination control, fog lamp, bed lighting. These two buttons here control the illumination on the cluster. This dial here is for trailer mode, snow mode, and sport mode. So with all that said, oh, there is one more thing. And the only issue I had with this vehicle was the passenger side lifters went out at about 5,000 miles. Riverside Chevrolet did uh, replace those lifters on that side and all the components they had to, to go along with that. So I'm happy about that. And right now I have 24,000 miles and it's two years, one week old. Haven't had any issues since. There were a lot of recalls. There was, I think, four on the brakes, one on a seat belt, heat deflector. So if you got in an accident, there's a gas charge, there's a gas charge container that I guess it, it, um, it locks the seat belt in place. So the heat generated from that gas uh, discharge is hot enough to catch the carpet on fire. So they fixed that. They also checked the bolts for the front center seat. They had a recall for the bolt for the alternator. They fixed that. And like I said, there was four for the brake control module and they did all those. So besides those recalls and the lifters on the passenger side, that is the only issue I had with this vehicle. Oh, and there was one other thing. I did have to replace my front windshield. I think it was two weeks after I'd bought the vehicle because a rock flew up and cracked it and it just went all the way across in one day. So that sucked. But uh, who, what was the company? Um, it's that famous glass place that does it, um, Safe Light. Safe Light window repair, they did it. They did a phenomenal job. My insurance paid for part of it. I had to pay my deductible. I did get a factory GM window. I did not want to get an aftermarket window. So anyway, now with all that out of the way, now for my closing spiel. So this is a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson. This was my two-year review of my Chevy Silverado. Hope you guys liked it. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit, hit, the, hit the, the like button here. Hit the subscribe button and you'll get subscribed and the bell icon and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. And like all my other videos, there will be some bloopers at the end. I don't know what side, I always forget. I'm gonna to point to that side, but I think it's that side. Doesn't really matter what side it's on because I think the, the film just <laughs> jumps to the bloopers. I don't really know. Sometimes I do a, a slide swipe. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy your day and um, I am glad I bought my truck when I did two years ago because after that was when this COVID crap started and now it's hard to get a truck like this and when you do, it's not gonna have all the features that I have and it's gonna be 5,000 to 10,000 more. I got this for 34 and that was a phenomenal deal. And now I'm, uh, the Chevy dealership doesn't even have any, they have a few, that's it. I believe in three days, they're supposed to get a shipment in, but I was watching some YouTube videos from Chevy Jeff, I think his name is, I can't remember. And I don't know, I think they're pushing back the delivery dates, but anyway, I'm glad I bought mine when I did. So have a nice day and, uh, Enjoy your Chevy.
<clears throat> test one, test two, test three. Test one, test two, test three. Hello and welcome to my channel. How ah, shit, I can't see. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be doing my two-year review on my Chevy Silverado. It is a 2019, and I'm still out of breath. In case anyone's curious, I'm still suffering from fucking COVID. Whew. Now for the front end, I did the EGR off the hood bug and stone guard, bug and stone guard, bug, bug deflector. Yeah, it'll deflect bugs. <laughs> I installed the EGR off the hood bug and stone guard. In the installation video that I did, I called it a Lund, Lung, Lund. Was it Lung or Lund? Dang it. EGR bug and stone guard. God dang it. EGR side window protectors. Side wind, no. They're not window protectors. Son of a bitch. Test one, test two, test three. EGR side window wind deflectors. <laughs> side window wind deflectors. EGR side window. EGR side window wind deflectors. Down here, I have the wheel-to-wheel, -wheel, six inch, six inch. <laughs> All right, I'm already getting fucking tired. <clears throat> okay, test one, test two, test three. Now, for the few things that I don't, ah, there's people walking by, damn it, motherfucker. There are two things I disliked about this vehicle. The first thing was the auto stop technology feature, and the second was that my infotainment Test one, test two, test three. With the All-Star Edition, you get upgraded door panels. Test one, test two, test three. With the All- Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> 